What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword. So I'm actually back at uh, Professor Magnolia's house because we forgot to do something. Over here in the corner, if you notice this, uh, this little black shadow, it actually allows you to fish. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Let's see what we can find. Okay, there you go. An exclamation mark. A Magikarp. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can find anything else. If you guys didn't know, um, you start off with the fishing rod, fishing rod right off the bat. So let's actually just go ahead and catch this Magikarp. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll catch it in one, one Pokeball, one attempt. Two. Oh, actually, that was the fourth one. There you go. Caught. Let's try it a couple more times, see if we can find any new Pokemon. Okay, the, uh... It is virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's been added to our party, but we're going to remove it for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Fish again. There you go, exclamation mark. Ooh, another Magikarp. Alright, let's go ahead and run. And try it one more time. We might actually find a new Pokemon in here, but... Who knows, we'll see. Let's actually go ahead and uh, switch... Uh, Yamper to the front of our party. So if it is another Magikarp, we could just uh, destroy it and see if our uh, Yamper could get any experience. Alright, no magic card. Ah, damn it. Another one. Okay. We'll just KO it with our Yamber. We'll go ahead and nuzzle it. Should go down in one hit. Oh, it's faster than us. Okay. But it has splash, of course, so nothing happened. It didn't take it out in one hit. Wow. I'm surprised. Okay, let's go ahead and nuzzle it one more time then. Or, probably gonna be two more hits to KO it. Could it move? It wouldn't be able to do any damage to us anyways, because I'm pretty sure it only has Splash. Alright, KO. We got a little bit of experience. Alright, let's actually switch back to uh, our Lola Bunny. Alright, and let's go back to the uh, where we left off last episode, the wild area. Oh, well, we gotta remember to switch out uh, the Magikarp from our party because we don't really want it in our team. We want to have our other Pokemon, our uh, Score Bunny, also known as Lola Bunny, and our Yamper to get the most experience as possible. No, we ran into a school bit. Alright, we'll go ahead and run for sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure we could KO. Now that we have Double Kick and it's a normal type, school that is, uh, we'll be able to destroy it in one hit, so... We can go ahead and just take it out then. See how much experience that is. Alright, we leveled up with that. Okay, let's keep going. Let me know in the comments how you guys are enjoying this game so far, or if you guys are enjoying it. Let me know what you like about it and what you dislike. So far, I'm enjoying it. I like the music, the graphics. The new Pokemon we've seen so far, they're pretty cool. They seem pretty cool. But, of course, there's a lot more that, uh, we didn't mean to talk to them. There's a lot more that we haven't seen. So it wouldn't really be fair to, uh, give this game a, a complete rating because we haven't seen most of it but so far I'm enjoying it for sure alright let's go back to uh, the wild area yes wild area station ooh okay no cutscene I like that pretty fast Alright, and starting from here, actually, you can uh, 
control the camera movement, which is pretty cool. Alright, here's the wild area and the, uh, the trees that people have been complaining about before the game even released. Ooh, an onyx! Alright, let's, ooh, an item, let's pick that up. Jar of honey. A sweet honey collected by Pokemon. It has a lush aroma and can be sold at a low price to shops. Alright, let's go ahead and save just in case this onyx is like level, a really high level that we'll get wrecked by. We have double kick, so, ooh, you found a note. Did someone drop it here? The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the wild area are strong. If you try battling one and it seems like you're in over your head, try to run. Run like the wind. Why is there a note on the grass? It's weird. Alright, let's see if we can, uh, it said, the note said it's strong, so let's see. Ooh, you encountered a very strong looking Onyx. Alright, if it's really high level, we'll run. 26, that's pretty high level, let's go ahead and run. I was planning on just, you couldn't get away. Okay, screech. Alright. That's good. We're not getting knocked out today. <laughs> yeah, the double kick doesn't seem like it would knock it out in one hit. We couldn't get away. Oh, no. Our score bunny. Oh, we avoided the attack. Wow, Lola Bunny. Nice. Dang, our Lola Bunny knows. All right, let's actually go ahead and look inside this grass. You guys, um, ooh, combi. Ah, oh, I forgot. Are the uh, male combis or the female combis the ones that you can evolve? And the ones that have the red mark, are they male or female? I guess we'll find out. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and quick attack. I'm pretty sure Ember will kill it. Double kick is not very effective, so let's quick attack it. Okay, so it's female. So I'm pretty sure the females are the ones you cut of all, because the males are like the useless ones. The, or not useless, but like, if you guys didn't know, the uh, male bees are like the worker bees, and the female ones are the, uh, are the ones that like lay all the babies and... Oh, nope, X, yes. Um, the female ones are the ones that have the babies and uh, have the workers, and they pretty much just sit around. The queen bees. So I'm pretty sure the queen ones are the ones that you can evolve. Alright, we got ourselves a comb bee. And they were lower leveled, it wasn't strong, so we had no problems with that. Okay, Combi. The members of the trio spend all their time together. Each one has a slightly different taste in nectar. No nickname. Alright, let's see what else we can find in here. Alright, let's see. Ooh, okay, so a Gen 6 Pokemon, a Bunnelby. Okay, if I can remember correctly, I think it's a normal type and then it evolves to a ground type. Uh, hopefully that's right. Uh, I think Ember. I don't think Ember would kill it. Double kick might if it's a normal type. Uh, let's go for one more ember. Laser focus. Okay. So I think what laser focus does is it actually guarantees that the next move will hit. So hopefully it doesn't have fissure or something like that. Ooh, we got okay, it's burned. Nice. So we'll go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. I never actually used uh Diggersby, which is what uh Bunnelby evolves to. But if you guys have, let me know if it's a good, uh, good Pokemon to use. Nice, we caught it. Alright, let's see what else we can find. One more, and then we'll move on to another, uh, to explore the rest of the wild area. Okay, so the digging Pokemon. It excels at digging holes. Using its ears, it can dig a nest 33 feet deep in one night. Okay, wow. Alright, what else is in here? Oh, okay, so there's a bundle bee in the overworld as well. All I see is that bundle bee and all these cone bees. Alright, let's go ahead and go to this exclamation point. Oh, another bundle bee. Okay, let's just go ahead and move on then. To explore the rest of the wild area. Okay, if it is normal type... Oh, it says it right there. It's super effective. Okay, so it is normal type. Okay, so we'll just destroy it in one hit then. Or in one move. Two. Two kicks. There you go. Nice. Level up. Ooh, okay, so let's see if we can access our box so we can actually get rid of... How do we access the box? I know we can. 
see if we can access it through the bag. Hmm. Okay, we have 21 Pokeballs left. Oh, I think it's in here. Pokemon Box Link. There you go. You can't use your Pokemon Boxes from your bag. What? So how do we use it? A device that allows you to access Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. You can't use it from your bag, so how else will we use it then? Uh... Hmm. From the Pokemon cam? Let's see. Okay, there, there's our Pokemon. Pokemon camp. In your Pokemon camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer through the experiments. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con, too. If you slide your Joy-Con off your system, you can wave one about to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve or wave a Poketoy for their delight. If you waggle that Poketoy, you might even entice Pokemon hanging out farther back in your camp to come play. When you set up camp in the wild area, you'll be able to play with up to three other trainers at a time. All kind of people and Pokemon might stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before. So get to know them as you play together. Okay, it doesn't seem like you can uh, access your box through the Pokemon camp. I wonder how you do it. Yes, quit camping. Hmm, that's weird. It says you can't access it through your... through your bag, so how else will we access it? Pokedex, Pokemon, bag... Hmm. Let's try again. You can't use your Pokemon boxes from your bag. That's weird. What if we register it, actually? So... Can you even register in this game? I don't even know. Let me see. Favorite? Oh, that just favorites it. Hmm, I don't know. If I figure it out, I'll let you guys know how to do that. Alright, let's go explore the rest of the wild area. Okay, so should we go left and right, or should we just go one way, you guys? Alright, let's actually explore the right side of the wild area, and then we'll explore the left side at another time. So we went in that patch of grass already. Ooh, a Butterfree, okay. I forgot how to whistle. How do you catch their attention? I have to uh, learn how to do that, too. It's actually flying lower. Okay, I couldn't catch it. Alright, it's fine. I'll figure out how to use the boxes and whistle. Let's talk to this guy, see what he says. Left to cook? You've come to the right place. I've got all the finest ingredients right here. Bread, pasta, pre-cooked burger, sausages, salad mix. Okay, so what do these things actually even do? One of the many ingredients that can be used for cooking at your camp. An indispensable tool for mapping up that extra curry left on your plate. Okay, these flour noodles make for a surprisingly good match with curry. If you're unsure about what to cook, you can't go wrong with some burger. Those, or these sausages should be boiled before eating. The assortment of vegetables looks quite appealing and healthy. What do these things actually do though? Give us another visit tomorrow. Okay, let's explore this patch of grass then. We already caught a cone bee and those are bunnel bees, so... Let's see if we can find anything else. Ooh, okay, a digger's bee. Let's go ahead and uh, encounter that. Let's run into it. Let's save though, because it might be uh, powerful. It is an evolution, so you never know. Let's go ahead and bail. You encountered a wild digger's bee. Level 15, okay. You should be able to take it on. Uh, double kick? I don't think that would kill. Ooh, it has quick attack, okay. Ooh, it's super effective. So I think it's ground and normal type. Alright, let's go with one more double kick. Flail. Ooh. Okay, so let's go for that Pokeball after this. 
Alright, hopefully we catch it. <laughs> because we're gonna be knocked out after this, so... Let's see. Oh, no! Quick attack. Alright, our Lola Bunny, I think, is down. Yeah. So we have Yamper. Okay, let's go to Yamper and keep trying to catch the Digi-Ski. We can't paralyze it because it's a ground type. Should we hit it one more time? I don't think it'll kill us in one hit. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and hit it one more time. Uh, should we use Bite or Tackle, though? Bite might flinch it, so... Or actually, Diggersby's faster than us. Oh, and it has quick attack, so... Alright, hopefully this doesn't kill. I don't think it will. Ball fetch, nice! We got, with its ability, we got a Pokeball. The first Pokeball that actually, uh, we, we couldn't catch Diggersby with. Alright, so it's in red now, so hopefully we catch it now. Nice, okay. We caught it. We caught that Diggersby. Let's actually go back to that person at the beginning of the wild area to heal. Because our score bunny's down. Wow, that was a lot of experience. Nice. Bunnelby wants to learn quick attack. Um, sure, let's go ahead and... Uh, even though we're not going to use it, let's just go ahead and get rid of tackle since quick attack's better than tackle in every way. Alright, Diggersby... Diggersby, Diggersby's data is pulled up. With power equal to an excavator, it can dig through dense bedrock. It's a huge help during tunnel construction. Would you like to name it? Nah, not really. Not right now. <laughs> Alright, let's actually go back to a heal. We found a note. Did someone drop it here? Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. And if you press the right stick, you'll find you can see a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead again. So let's actually go back and heal our fainted a score bunny. Already lost track of where we are. Um, I think it's this way. All right, yeah, it's over here. All right, guys. So in the next episode, we're going to be continuing on exploring the wild area. If you guys enjoyed, please share, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys next time.